everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and as of recording this video, it is the morning of February 21st and right out of the gates of Samsung One UI 7 Beta 4, which I just posted that video this morning right before this, uh, here we are with a hot fix. So it's not really Beta 5. It doesn't bring anything new other than just some bug fixes. So this is usually what Samsung does towards the very end of a beta testing program, which means that we should be seeing the official release very soon. Now, as I've always stated from the past, Samsung One UI 7 should be released during the first quarter of 2025, which is where we are right now. My guess is it's probably going to be either the end of this month. If not, it'll be during the month of March, which is the first quarter of 2025. And that's, again, right after the launch of the latest device. So we are definitely on track. Nothing has been delayed. So with this update here, all we're going to kind of do is just to see how big it is. I'll take a look at a few applications and services, which it kind of looks like from Sammy fans at this update here, which is just basically the hot fix for beta four, quote unquote, I guess you can say beta five is going for the S24 and the S24 plus and the S24 ultra that is here in the United States for unlocked models. And the hot fix is really mostly for visual voicemail. So there's really not much to go on after that. If you want to see everything else that's new in beta four, you can take a look at the video that I just posted this morning, which I can also link below this video inside the description and a pinned comment. Now there are a few additional things that a few people has also stated that they had problems with. Now this phone over here is not my main daily driver as I switched over to the S25 series, but some users mentioned that there's issues with Gemini, the lock screen, Google wallet, tap to pay and more. So we'll just take a look at a few of these applications to see if there's newer versions versions to show that those ones have been fixed. So this is all the details that we have right now. Again, this is a size of 436 megabytes, which is very small, pretty much almost the same size as any other monthly update that happens along the back end of things. Again, fixed for visual voicemail. So I'm just going to install it right now. Uh, and what we'll do is we'll take a look at a few applications and services. So I wrote down the versions of some of these applications. So we'll take a look at the Samsung One UI Home. We'll take a look at Gemini. We'll take a look at voicemail. We'll take a look at Gmail and also Google Wallet to see if there's any newer versions that we're able to find with this update here. Uh, this version here for this hot fix, it ends with ZYBB. Now, also what I'll take you a look at is show you the new version of the gallery because in my past video, I mentioned that there was a update to the gallery, but I want to show you what that update was. And that is the newer search version with inside the gallery. So on your Galaxy S24 series, that's running Samsung One UI 7 beta, which is now on beta four with a hot fix. Pretty much what you can do in your gallery now is on the top, you hit on this little search button. This right here is the exact same version of search that is a part of now the gallery. So you can search for motion photos, videos, portraits, logs, dual recordings. You can search for like documents. You can search for names. You can search for things. So I can say something like phone. And then what will probably pop up over here is just images of phones, uh, which is probably going to be my thumbnails. And so pretty much the newer version of gallery on the S24 series that is a part of beta. Yes, does in fact have that newer version. Somebody asked that question this morning and I wanted to answer it with this video. So what we'll do is we'll wait for this thing to turn on, take a look at a few different things, but it's usually at this point in the video, I like to state that if you're brand new here at the channel, Jimmy is promo. You appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information on your Samsung Galaxy devices. Make sure you send that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos. So now that the update is done and complete. Let's just take a look real quick at some of these applications and services. And more than likely, it's just really going to be the applications that was mentioned that had problems, but I do want to take a look at Samsung One UI Home first, as I always do. And this version here is the exact same. So before the update, it was 16.0.0.5.7. So no changes there. I also do want to take a look though at visual voicemail, since that is the issue mostly at hand. That was what was written inside of the uh, description for this update. Before the update, visual voicemail was at 19.0.0.0.2.5. It is now 19.0.0.0.2.9. So you do have a new version of your visual voicemail if you had any problems. The next thing that I'm going to take a look at is going to be, you know, anything dealing with Google Pay and Google Wallet. So pretty much with GPay, right before this update here, the version was at 17912. We're now at 26712. So we have a brand new version of Google Pay. 
We'll also take a look over at Wallet. So for this one, we'll look at Google Wallet. So it'll be this one right over here to see if there's a new version sitting there. So Google Wallet before the update was 25, 5, and then it went pretty much 7, 2, 5, and it ended at 8, 3, 1. So no new version of Google Wallet, but I did see a new version of Google Pay. So we're really kind of looking at at least two of those bugs that was mentioned online that have been fixed with this update. And then somebody else mentioned something about Gemini having a problem. So I don't know if that's just dealing with something with the home screen or Gemini or pressing and holding or whatever it may be. So we'll take a look at Gemini since I didn't see an update with Samsung One UI Home. What comes on to Gemini, the version was 1068, had a bunch of numbers and ended in 308. So exact same number right here. So I don't see any newer version for me for Gemini, no new version for Samsung One UI Home, but we did see the newer version for Visual Voicemail, which is the case at hand for this hotfix. And also two people mentioning about tap to pay. So we do have a newer version of GPay and that's pretty much all that we have for this update. I wanted to keep it very quick and simple because this is a very quick and simple update. Again, it, this one is a hot fix for Samsung One UI 7 Beta 4. I wouldn't call it Beta 5 really because there's really nothing new other than things that have been fixed. But again, just remember inside of your gallery, your search is the exact same as what it was for and from the Samsung Galaxy S25 series. Just go right over here, search for whatever you want to search for. Uh, and that's really it. And it operates the exact same as the S25 series. Again, just answering a question from a comment from this morning's video. So if you haven't seen it just yet, make sure you guys pop over on YouTube. I'll actually place this link below the video inside the description and also probably a pinned comment. And when you take a look over at my videos, you can see that I just posted it this morning, went live two hours ago, uh, Samsung One UI 7 beta. And really this shows everything that most people didn't show you that was new with this update. And I'm also debunking rumors, again, talking about the time schedule and time frame of when it's supposed to be released, which it is still on time. So if you do wanna see everything that's new with beta four, watch that video. This one is mostly just a hot fix for beta four. Hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.